Welcome back to my channel. My name is Connie. I'm Connie's Country Finds on eBay and Country underscore Finds on Poshmark. And I just wanted to pop on here and show you guys what my husband made for me. He made me a flat lay because before I was just using a very small table for my flat lays and it wasn't quite working for me. So... If you guys are interested to see how he built this for me, stay tuned. Let's go. Okay guys, here is the flat lay that my husband built for me. It is, these are becoming more and more popular because it's for us older people like me. Um, it's hard to do flat lays on the floor. I don't like that look anyways. It's hard on my back. And this just gives you a pure white background and it gives you a lot of space to be able to do your flat lay like this or um, and take measurements, you know, things like that. So um, let me show you how he made this real quick. So this is just a piece of paneling that we used. That we had we had a paneling this is the paneling part of it and that wasn't going to be strong enough so he had to reinforce it with plywood i guess i think that's what he used underneath and yeah and then he had these here so he reinforced it with that he had to put a board here in the studs to hold it and then he used the hinges so I can move it up and down when I need to. So when I'm not using it as a flat lay, then it can be my white background for my um, mannequins. So let me fix this, you guys are a little crooked. And what I did was at first, I needed something that was going to grip the clothing. So um, all the videos I seen that showed how to build one of these on YouTube um, said to use batting. So I picked up some batting from Walmart and I put that on there. But the problem that I was having with that was it, it wasn't as white as you can see in just in this video. Um, it wasn't as white as this. So. This was originally my background. It's just a shower curtain, a white shower curtain. So I decided that I wanted a whiter background. So I attached a shower curtain haphazardly, haphazardly up there. And that's what I use as my white background for right now. Um, if I could find a blanket that would fit on here that's pure white, that would actually work better for me, only for the simple fact that this is a, just a little bit slippery, whereas the batting has some grip to it and you wanna have some grip to it so the clothing will not slide. Because right now, if I put something silk on here, it's gonna slide right down. But these shorts are staying just fine. So in the meantime, what I do is let me show you. I just took some pictures of a dress and I'll show you how I did that. And it's a 100% silk dress. It's a Ted Baker. So what I did was I just kept it on the hanger and attached it up here. So that way you would, uh, it won't slide on me like that. And then I would just take my photograph right there. And I, at the end, I will show you some photographs that I took without um, having to use any extra apps to make the background white. Sometimes if my lighting, if I can't get my lighting right, it will be dark up here. And um, it is daylight right now, so I'm kind of struggling with that. Um, so I'm still working on the lighting part of it, but 
this makes everything so much easier when I want to do a flat lay because I'm not having to bend down over the floor. I'm not having to fight that little desk that I was using before for my flat lays. I can do them just like this if I want to. So another beauty part of this is let me show you how this goes down. And then I can use my mannequin behind it. So let me put you over here. Let me adjust you real quick here, sorry. And as you can see, that's what it looks like underneath it. So I will show you how I take this whole thing down. Now, the only problem that I'm running into is my cords. They have to stay behind, behind here. So I have to move my lights back. But still works just right for me. And then the table that I have this sitting on is just one of those rolling uh, carts or uh, drawers. And that's what I have this sitting on. And that falls every time because The only part I haven't figured out, I just need to lengthen that, I think, that, that cord. But then, I have my flat lay. I mean, if I want to put my mannequin there. But I just use this drawer to hold it up for me. And it's at the perfect angle for me. So... And then, actually, I probably should have showed you this before I put the thing down. But let me show you the mannequin. Now, my mannequin, I took the bottom part off and I attached a piece of yarn so I could just hang it up. That way she's more out of my way. And I just hang her up right here. I would adjust my lighting. And she would look like that. So it makes a perfect white background with the lighting adjusted and everything. But let me take, you, take that off real quick. Put this thing back up and I'm going to show you something here. I'll show you how I do my measurements. Bring this back up. And it just sets on my drawers. Move this forward a little bit. Some people put a, uh, like a uh, kickstand type thing under there, but this is fine for me. Then I just fix this. And I'll show you how I do my measurements. I'll attach this up here. I'll hold these out. These will come out like that. Let me get you adjusted so you can see what I'm doing. And then I use my measuring tape. And I have clothespins that I attached Velcro to. So the Velcro kind of stays on here a little bit. That's why I would like a a little bit something a little more with grip so it would attach better but it works fine for now um i've seen some people use just the flat yardsticks but this is how i do it as you can see it this is silk so it's sliding down so it would have to be on a hanger and this is how 
I would do my measurements. Like so. And then I take a photo of that. And then my top measurements are easy. So you just clip it at the top, hangs down, and you got your bottom measure measurement there. So I haven't figured out an easier way yet. Maybe once I get a different background, it would I'll be able to figure that out a little bit better, but that's how I do it. That's the easiest way for me. So what I wanted to show you next is this isn't going to get, you're not going to get a good view of this since it is daylight, but this is the other setup I have. This was my original flat lay table. As you can see, it's much smaller than what this is. Um, I'll have to ask my husband, but I can't remember what size he made that. Um, I wanted it long enough to be able to do jeans and stuff on there, so. But this is what I use for, like, my small items. Say I want to photograph this book. As I said, I have a window right here. So you're not going to get the full effect of this, but I'm going to show you something here. Now, this idea came from a, phot a professional photographer that I found on YouTube. If I can find his video again, I will link it down below. He's very interesting. He shows you how to do um, flat lays, professional flat lays for online selling. So um, this piece is from one of those uh, rectangle lights that you put up in the ceiling. I think they were like popular, popular back in the 80s, but some places still have them. We bought this from Menards. I think it was like $5. And this is just one of the diffusers for those lights. That's all this is. So you just have to be careful with it because if it bends too much, it will bust. Uh, I believe this is like acrylic or something. I'm not sure what the, what it's made out of. And it does get a bit of a, um, a glare, but I will show you how to fix that. So I'm going to put you right here. And I'm going to zoom you in so you could see what I'm doing here. Okay. So as you could see, I have the LED light right there. And then I have another LED light right over here. Okay. Now, like I said, again, um, don't mean be repeating myself, but you would get a better idea of this at night. But this gives you an idea. Okay? So, what I've got, what I did, and at his suggestion, was this is just a lid that it, we, I cut out right here. And this is just baking paper. From your drawer in your kitchen and you just attach this to your lid with clear masking tape. Very good so no light or anything can get through there. So what you'll do is you'll take, if you have an LED light and you need diffused, you'll take your LED light, make it as low as possible, I'm having to move stuff around here, and this will diffuse your light. Let me do some. This will diffuse the light. So it doesn't make it so harsh. Because we know that these LED lights are, are bright. So it diffuses the light on here. So there it is without the diffuser. There it is with the diffuser. Even with the light coming through, you can kind of see the difference. So you can make two of these if you'd wish, and you can use them on both lights. That way you'll get a lighter 
more natural look. So here's the book with the diffuser. There's the book without. Plus it removes some of the shadows that you're seeing here. See, just a little bit. And then if you diffuse the other one, you get less of a shadow here. And I also have lighting coming through. So this is what I use for my flat lays and it works beautifully. And for my small items, shoes, books, things like that. So that's what I'm using that for. And I hope you guys found this video interesting. I hope it helped you a little bit. I do have quite the mess happening. Um, went to the bin yesterday and picked up some clothes because I'm going to try to do, I would like to try to list 10 items a day um, on eBay and maybe five on Poshmark and see if I can get my sales up. It's been really slow this summer, but I'm hoping that since I'm taking this time to get myself organized and together and been hitting yard sales as much as I can, trying to stock up for fourth quarter, I'm hoping that things turn around and start picking up. Um, but I hope this helped you guys. I hope um, it gave you some ideas. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, suggestions, I'm always open to those. And I think that's all I have for you today. So if you guys like this kind of video, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye.